Okay, here we have the great unveiling of the hermetic compressor. And that's the guts inside. Let's kind of go over this. Uh, you notice the suction line was here. So, wet gas is coming in there. And as I told you in the last one, it come up straight onto the windings of the compressor. Okay, your windings go all the way down to here. And so, this is the motor itself. Now, this is the rotor. Now, there's no bearing here. This thing only has one bearing. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Two bearings in it. Uh, you'll see them on the compressor itself. But, this rotor is just hanging out here. Now, I'll take these things apart and you'll be able to see them. But let's go uh, through some of the other things that are here. If you look here, there's two of these little doohickeys. Now, they just come out, they're just plastic. These are actually the suction inlets, because there's a cylinder on each side. Here's one and here's the other. It's a posed two-cylinder compressor. So when the suction gas comes in, it hits here, and then it goes into here. Now the reason for these pipes being up here like this is if liquid refrigerant gets into this compressor and it gets actually into the cylinders it can raise havoc in there so in order to avoid that the suction is going to be higher up now there's different ways this is done some of them have uh, some tubing that's right here on top that it has to go into uh, to get to the cylinders but this is uh, trying to avoid liquid refrigerant getting inside. Now if you look down there, you can kind of just barely see there's an oil uh, level under there. Now that's right there. Okay. Uh, normally that's about what the level the oil is going to be. As liquid refrigerant gets inside this thing, it's going to start raising that level because the refrigerant mixes with the oil and so it's going to raise it up so it has to be pretty close to this high for this thing to actually suck liquid inside those cylinders so that's a protective device okay a couple more things we can see here Right here, these are discharge lines. This is a hot gas after it's gone through the compressor, is going into here and then and you can see here, here is the discharge line and probably if you look close you can see the pipe going underneath the oil. There's also an oil pump on the very bottom of this thing that pumps oil through the compressor. It's kind of an integral sort of thing with the crankshaft. Here's one other part I wanted to note. This is a high pressure cutout. So that when, let's say the head pressure got beyond what it should be, then this is going to open. There's a slide inside there. I'll probably take that thing off if I can get it off. And... Uh, because this is a high side and it's going to blow it off into the can, which of course the can is the low side. So if the pressure's got extremely high, this thing is going, it has a safety to actually blow off that pressure. Now that pressure on an R22 machine is probably 400 pounds. So it's pretty high and the compressor can be put under tremendous strain before that goes off. But that is a safety device. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you if you look right here, there's a little metal can inside there. And that can actually has, see if I can make it a little more clear. That's the overload. And 
I don't know, you can't see it much better. But it's a little can with a set of contacts inside it that are hermetically sealed. And it's embedded here in the windings. So if the temperature gets too high, it's going to kick off. Now I'm going to link to a video I did on taking one of these apart so you can see what uh, what's inside it. But other than that, I think we're pretty much done for kind of an external view of this compressor. I'm going to start taking some parts apart and we'll look at what's going on inside. By the way, this is a locked rotor. It will not turn. So we'll have to see what happened uh, inside. It looks like there's enough oil in it, although that's not a real high level, but something caused this compressor to lock up and we'll probably see if we can do a little uh, detective work on that. Anyway, that's it for this one. Next one we'll start taking things apart.